Hi guys, I thought I would give you a quick overview of this machine I bought last month. I've been running this thing successfully pretty much immediately. This is a red black Chinese machine. I bought this on eBay. It came with everything I needed except for a chiller. Bought a CW500 also from eBay. This ran me about 475 and it's been working great. This machine needed absolutely no calibration. Uh, just started working right away. I'll get into the software that you'll need to make it run the easiest in a minute. Let me show you my setup first. This is the fan. Decided to mount this fan overhead. So we have the exhaust coming out into the fan. The fan is coming out through the wall. And on the outside of this wall is a standard dryer duct exhaust. It's got a rain guard and an articulated vent cover. The air assist is mounted right here below the uh, exhaust fan. I've got everything connected down. I've got my piping running under to the back. My power cord situation, I still need to tidy up these cords. Like I said, I just got this machine, so I'm still still working things out but I've got a power strip Home Depot regular power strip I have my laptop plugged into it I've got the main machine power plugged into it I have my water pump plugged into it a separate power strip is connecting the air assist and the exhaust and let me turn this on there's a reason why I keep this separate it's really loud Whenever I'm ready to run my machine, I've got uh, I've got all my things set up. I've got my origin set. I've ran, ran my frame. Everything's looking good. Then I come over here and hit this guy to turn on the air assist and exhaust. Now I went through a lot of stress on this machine at first before I did anything with it. I knew there was going to be a lot of issues connecting it to a computer. But what I discovered through a friend on the laser engraving forum is a program called Lightburn. Once this was installed, I plugged in the USB port. And let me show you where I'm connected. I'm connecting onto this USB serial port. This recognized this machine in about 10 seconds. It knew the machine. I made sure that I picked Rowita as the platform. I made sure that the connection was USB serial and 10 seconds later recognized my machine, loaded the profile, it knew the bed size. Beautiful machine. I cannot recommend Lightburn enough. So let's say you have an odd piece of plastic. It's like a funny shaped piece of plastic and the only way it'll fit is maybe like right here. What I want to do is use my arrow keys, these guys right here, and I want to home it at that piece of plastic right in the corner. Oops, it's very responsive. Oops, wow. Okay, so there you go. There is home on that corner. I'm going to hit my origin button and I am done with this control panel. That's all I want to do. I just want to set that origin. Now I'm going to come back over to light burn, run my frame, and see that it's going to run that project exactly starting at that left upper origin. Alright, we are ready to run our project. So I'm going to come up to my power source for com uh, compressor, air assist, and ventilation. Remember, I'm not using this control panel. Although I could, I just prefer to do everything using light burn. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Here we go. One thing I didn't mention yet is the price. $1,850.
And here's one thing also to uh, to focus this guy. It's a manual focus. I think there's an option, there's an upgrade where you can get a motorized focus, but everything is done using this knob here in this corner. And what you want to do is use this little spacing tool they included on the key ring. And I'm doing this one-handed. But you want to get this guy so that there's just a tiny bit of drag on the end of that head. So I'm going to lower this just a bit. And there is almost a perfect focus. That should be perfect right there. Okay, perfect focus. So there you go, right there. As a safety measure, one thing you always want to keep handy is a charged fire extinguisher. I've never had to use this, but it's a smart, prudent step to keep one right by your laser cutter. This is a piece of quarter inch frosted acrylic and it cut through this without any issues. This is 060 acrylic. Each one of these screens, this is for one of my projects by the way, this is a HAL 9000 from 2001 Space Odyssey. There's about 210 holes in each screen out, but you can see how fast, even at 20% at speed, each movement here is one hole. A second each. If you're interested in connecting a rotary attachment, your plug for that is going to be right here underneath the control panel on the right side. I used the crate that this shipped in to make a shelf down below. I know it's a little bit disorganized right now, but this is great for storage. Just cut a piece of that ply, lay it down, and you've got instant storage. So that is it for my review of the Red Black Chinese Made Laser Cutter. Fantastic machine. A third of the price of American-made machines. You'll probably get better customer service with the American-made guys, but for $1,850 compared to the same machine would be about six to seven to maybe eight grand for an American-made machine. This is a beautiful machine for the price. Make sure that you check my YouTube channel and subscribe. I make a lot of custom-made props and costume parts and art pieces. I'm sure you'd be interested to see, so make sure to check out my channel, and thanks for watching.